Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on method of variation of parameters. So this is our question, solve this equation using method of variation of parameters. So we have to solve this uh, using method of variation of parameters. So here we have d square by dx square. So we substitute d equal to d by dx, then our d square will be d square upon dx square. So instead of this, we substitute d square minus one and I am taking y common. We get d square minus one into y and this term will remain as it is. So now if you see this equation is of the form f of d into y equal to x. So the solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp. First we will find what is yc. To find yc, we need an auxiliary equation An auxiliary equation is given by f of d equal to zero. What is f of d? f of d is nothing but this term, which is d square minus one equal to zero. We can write this as d plus one to d minus one equal to zero. So the roots are d equal to one and d equal to minus one. So these two are our roots. In this case, our yc is given by c1 e raised to m1 x m1 is 1 so e raised to x plus c2 into e raised to m2 x m2 is minus 1 so e raised to minus x so this is our yc now we need to find yp since it is a method of variation of parameters our yc and yp will be similar so e raised to x and e raised to minus x will remain as it is instead of c1 and c2 we have u and v then this will be our y1 and this will be our y2 after we get y1 and y2 we take the derivative of y1 derivative of y1 is nothing but e raised to x and derivative of y2 is nothing but minus e raised to minus x so this is our y1 dash and y2 dash after this we also calculate d d is nothing but determinant of y1 y2 y1 dash and y2 dash which is equal to y1 into y2 dash minus y2 into y1 dash so what is y1 y1 is e raised to x into y2 dash y2 dash is minus e raised to minus x minus y2 y2 is e raised to minus x and y1 dash is e raised to x so if this minus sign can be taken outside we get minus e raised to x and e raised to minus x is nothing but one minus e raised to minus x and e raised to x is nothing but one so d is nothing but minus two so after we get d we find u and v what is the formula of u and v the formula of u and v is very similar u is negative v is positive integration integration 1 upon d into x dx upon d x dx only numerator will differ so first we will see for u since u is with e raised to x so we will consider e raised to minus x so here it is u so we will not consider this e raised to x we will consider the term with v so with v we have e raised to minus x which is y2 so with v we it is y2 so here we have y2 so here will be y1 here it is e raised to minus x and now for v we will not consider this y2 we will consider y1 which is e raised to x so here it is e raised to x what is this x this x is nothing but this term e raised to minus x sine e raised to minus x plus cos e raised to minus x. So our equation of u will become minus e raised to minus x. d is nothing but minus 2. x is e raised to minus x. sin e raised to minus x plus cos e raised to minus x into dx. First we will solve for u. This minus and this minus will become plus. So plus half is outside the integration. And inside integration we have e raised to minus x into e raised to minus x sin e raised to minus x plus cos e raised to minus x into dx. So now if you see in this equation, the term of e raised to minus x is repeating many times. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to substitute e raised to minus x equal to t. Then we take the differential of this, we get minus e raised to minus x into dx is equal to dt. So e raised to minus x into dx is nothing but minus dt so instead of this e raised to minus x and dx we will substitute dt minus dt so minus dt this minus sign i am taking with half integration of e raised to minus x is nothing but t 
into sine of e raised to minus x so it will become sine t plus cos t so this is now our new integration 